David Ignatius' latest piece is titled, Why Facts Don't Matter to Trump Supporters. He writes in part, Trump's campaign pushes buttons that social scientists understand. When the GOP nominee paints a dark picture of a violent, frightening America, he triggers the fight or flight response that's hardwired in our brains. For the body politic, it can produce a kind of panic attack. Screaming back for these past 12 months may have been satisfying for his critics, but it hasn't dented his support much. What seems to be hurting Trump in the polls now are self-destructive comments that trouble even his most passionate supporters. Attempts to aggressively correct his remaining fans may only deepen their attachment. David, uh, off of that piece, off of what you've written, off of your knowledge of uh, people on both sides of the aisle in Washington, can you envision any time soon the following happening? Some Republicans standing up and saying, country first country's more important than party because donald trump just in that clip that brief clip that we showed talking about somali re somalian refugees in maine he is just incorrect he's flat out wrong somalian refugees have lived in maine peacefully for for a decade and then he keeps regurgitating this stuff that divides people I, I think, uh, Mike, that we've already seen some defections, some prominent Republicans uh, refusing to endorse uh, Trump, uh, pulling back, criticizing him. I thought John McCain's uh, statement about, about the Khan family, uh, the, the Gold Star family, was very moving. Uh, no, no one can speak about the nation at war quite the way John McCain has. I think there'll be more of those. I think Michael Steele got to the basic point that Republicans face, which is if they're seeing a tidal wave election that could sweep uh, House and Senate away from Republican control after they have to make some, to some tough calculations. Final point I'd make is if we have a major terrorist attack in the United States between now and Election Day, I think you're in a very different situation. It plays to Donald Trump's strengths. It will be difficult for the Democrats, difficult for President Obama. That must be something that they think may, in the end, be a game changer for them. Which is really.